welcome to Tiger Carpenter. Today is a quick video which I'm forced to make because my drill press chuck has chipped off one of the teeth when I was trying to tighten the, dr the drill bit, the countersink drill bit. I didn't notice it had some kind of bear and when I was forcing it to be tight I didn't realize that the bar is not aligned with the shaft of the countersink drill bit and it made the tooth break. It's a carbide tooth, it's quite brittle. So now we are going to install the replacement chuck, which I believe should be the same. It's 3 to 16 millimeters. So the first problem we have to overcome is to remove the old chuck. So I'm going to remove the table. Okay, so the table is removed and then I will put the foam because this is going to drop. Whenever I buy the tool, I always keep a tool or a machine. I keep all the tools related to this machine next to it. I have a special bag and it has everything that came together with the machine. But first I will remove the, the drill bit, the offending drill bit that caused the damage. Hexagon shaft and then there is a round, thicker, probably a weld for the countersink drill bit. And then when I was pushing the teeth of the chuck, it was unevenly pressured and made the and caused the crack in the chuck so let's see if it's going to be easy or not i'm hiding the teeth we can always use some traditional method like hammer. Okay, so it's not what I was hoping for because I was hoping that only the chuck will drop and the taper uh, didn't drop probably because it's a bit rusty and semi welded itself to the chuck so now I have to worry how to remove the taper from the old chuck I'm going to mount it in the vise I put some bubble wrap at the, in the floor, expecting the taper, the taper to drop, and I will try to knock it out from here. It doesn't look like it's moving at all. Okay, let's try giving it a tap. Or a whack.
going to try to lubricate it. It's a white lithium grease. Let's see if it can penetrate. I'm going to wait for a while, let it work. It fell off, you can see the white lithium grease did the job, it did penetrate. <laughs> and just like that. I'm just going to further lubricate it and clean up the rust. I'll just leave it for a while. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's wait. Okay, so since we are already at, at it, I'm going to clean the inside. Should there be any debris or dust or whatever or rust so this is the taper okay there must be a slot that allows this flat part of the shaft, of the tapered shaft to register. So now it's in. I'm going to lower the table. I'm going to give it a tap. Since it's a new chuck, they say it's stainless steel, but obviously it's not. Let's just put some <coughs> white lithium grease. Okay. Now I'm going to put the teeth all the way in. And I will also give it a tap. So now I will bring the table higher and I will use the drill press itself to push it against the table as well. Okay, let's lock this table in place. Okay. <laughs> okay, I plugged the machine. I'm going to put the drill bit in and make a test drill always lock all three holes evenly this way you will prevent wobbling and vibrations it looks good Okay, let's have a look. I have a Japanese square, which I verified against the great OO square and it's perfect. So now the table. 
looks like the drill bit is perfectly perpendicular to the table I zoomed in it looks good so now I'm going to test the machine looks good so what I will do now I'm going to put the drill bit into the hole check for square yeah okay we are done